In this brief video, I will provide several examples of how you can use Microsoft Azure Information Protection to automatically protect sensitive data in your organization. The integrity of customer data is critical for any business, especially those in regulated industries. So let's think about several different scenarios for a moment. Let's say I am in the mortgage business or I own my own title company. As part of my job, I am constantly reviewing very sensitive documentation for my clients. When applying for a mortgage, customers must upload several years of tax returns, W-2 statements, tax transfer statements, bank statements, and so much more. There is a trust that the mortgage company will electronically secure these documents forever. So how are these documents controlled once they are in the possession of the mortgage company? That's one scenario. Another may be an urgent care medical center that is required to keep your medical records secured. Or what about the lawyer representing you in an upcoming legal case? How are the confidential conversation transcripts secured, or perhaps a brief secured, so they cannot be accidentally released? And what I mean by this is, what if one of these documents is emailed outside of the organization's secured system? What if someone is very well-intentioned, and they want to get some work done at home? To prep for that work, they take some of these documents that are very sensitive, and they email it to themselves, to their home address. Once that's done, it's outside of your organization's control forever. And who knows how they are reading it at home, on what system, and what controls are in place on that system. Let's take a look at these scenarios and how Microsoft thinks about them using features that are already built in to Office 365. There is no longer a need for additional servers, any crazy architectures, and all of the added complexities that traditional document protection systems required in the past. In this example, Think about the accounts receivable department I could be working in where I am processing hundreds of payments per day. How are those credit card numbers kept internal? So let's watch and see what happens when a user in that department creates a document containing credit card numbers. No, this is not a real number, so don't even try using it. So the letter is written. Let's go up here and try to save the file. We'll save it to our local PC. As soon as I hit save, Watch what happens. I get a notification up top that says, hey, this is a confidential document. It contains credit card data. It, uh, and the label has already been applied. Notice also, I have a header that's been placed into this document. For this next example, imagine I am processing mortgage-related documents. And many of these documents contain US Social Security numbers. Here, this document contains several of those Social Security numbers. So watch what happens again when I go to click Save. I save the file, and within seconds, Microsoft Azure Information Protection recognizes that this document contains social security numbers and needs to be classified as sensitive. Notice here, up top, I've got, I still have my header, but also down at the bottom, I have now have a footer. In this example, I am a lawyer working on a brief for one of my clients. I want to make sure that this document always remains in my control. Now watch what happens when I save this new legal document with a case number included with it. Here again, Microsoft Azure Information Protection picks up that this is a sensitive document that contains information related to my client's legal case. Now also notice, I not only have a header, a footer, but I also now have a watermark. All of these are controlled within the Microsoft Azure Information Policy area that I'll show you in just a moment. Here, I'm going to open up the case ID from the Outlook app on my Google smartphone. I'm now asked for my authentication information. And here on the document, once it's finally opened, you can also see the label on top of it. Confidential Legal Case Document Label. The encryption is on the file and will always follow that file, no matter if it is saved to Google Drive, Dropbox, or emailed anywhere in the world. The encryption remains with it. So let's take a quick look on the back end. 
in the administrative experience to see exactly how this is done. Here, I've started out in the Microsoft 365 Compliance Center. Next, I'll go down to Information Protection. And here is where you're going to see the labels that were just applied to the examples I showed. Let's focus in on the Social Security PII label. We'll edit the label and go through a few settings. We can see here we've got display name, a brief description, how the policy is applied. Here we see the encryption settings. Next are the content markings. Notice how I, I am controlling where the footer is placed, the header is placed, as well as the watermark. And I've customized each one of the text areas. Here is where I've defined the social security number format. Notice how I don't just have the US social security number format, but I also have the social insurance numbers for Canada, Spain, Japan, the EU, as well as France. These are several of the over 100 predefined categories that you can select for any one of your label rules. To, to add another one, simply click on Add and Sensitive Info Types. Here, I can search through all of the different predefined labels. If I need to set up a custom label to match an internal project name or internal project number, I can do that. Notice here as I search, I'm going to locate a custom matching rule that I predefined before getting into this list area. How I did that was by going over here and opening up the Office 365 Security and Compliance Center. From here, I open up the classification area and look into sensitive info types. These sensitive information types match the list we just saw in the classification label area. And here's the label that I created. For the legal documentation example I used, I was just keying off the word case ID. You can use regex examples to look for patterns in words and numbers, as well as just keywords here. As you can see, it's very simple to set these up. If you would like more information about each of the over 100 predefined labels available in Microsoft Azure Information Protection, there is a website available at aka.ms forward slash AIP labels. In this site, each label contains information on the format of the search string, the pattern, the checksum, the definition, and keywords being searched for. As I indicated earlier, the real difference here is that there are no servers to configure. There's no complex architecture to whiteboard out. There's no third-party tools I had to learn to implement these types of features. I remember several years ago helping a large healthcare hospital network with some email routing and protection issues. Wow, did they have quite the infrastructure set up in their SMTP mail flow to monitor, identify, and encrypt emails and documents like this to protect their patients. While it worked, think about the servers they had to purchase to implement this protection. Think about all of the software on top of that they had to purchase. Think about the maintenance contracts. And what was really interesting was when I asked some detailed questions about the service, no one knew the answers. That was because the person who had set up the system and was trained on it left a year prior to our conversation. With Microsoft Azure Information Protection, the service is already here. It's built in, not bolted on. You just simply need to license and enable it. No servers, new third parties, new new consoles, just as straightforward as can be.